everybody. Madam Secretary, this is Mujahid Akkar. Good to see you. First of all, Madam Secretary, welcome to Afghanistan. Thank you. I'm very happy to be back here. Yeah. Madam Secretary, you are traveling uh, to, uh, to Afghanistan, in a, which Afghanistan is a very, uh, in a very critical stage. On uh, one hand, the Afghanistan relation with Pakistan uh, is in trouble. You know, with Iran, also we have some difficulties. Uh, what do you think, somehow, the, 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 how much it might be make difficult for, for the United States or how much impact it has over the U.S. mission in Afghanistan? Well, first, I think what I uh, believe is that progress has been made in Afghanistan. We're sitting here talking in a way that was unthinkable uh, 10 years ago. There have been great advances on behalf of women and human rights, education, health care, so much else. But there's also a very clear uh, need to uh, continue fighting those who would undermine this progress. At the same time, though, we know that there is no uh, military solution to bringing peace and stability to Afghanistan. So we have to do three things simultaneously. We have to fight, we have to talk, and we have to build. And I'm here to assess all three of those and how we can do better in each. We need to send a very clear message to the Taliban and those who support them in sanctuaries and safe havens and funding sources that we will not give an inch uh, to them and their desire to turn the progress in Afghanistan backwards. Yet we also need to reach out and talk with those who are willing to reconcile on the three terms that have been laid out. Renounce violence, break with Al-Qaeda, and respect the laws and constitution of Afghanistan, including protecting the rights of minorities and women. And we need to continue to build a new Afghanistan. Yeah. Madam Secretary, the, uh, the U.S. Will, would carry out a uh, type of attacks like uh, in, in October happening. Uh, do you think, uh, because most people in Afghanistan think that, that after the attack on the U.S. Embassy, and, and especially the statements that which was made in, in the United States, that the Haqqani network is close to the, uh, to the ISI, would you think the U.S. will carry out these type of attacks? Well, I think if you uh, look at the news in the last several days, uh, there has been a very effective joint operation by Afghan and uh, coalition uh, international forces to go after uh, Haqqani operatives inside of Afghanistan. And there's also been efforts to target those who are leaders inside the safe havens in Pakistan. This is not an either or problem. There are problems, yes, in Pakistan that contribute to the uh, conflict in Afghanistan, but there are also problems in Afghanistan that we have to address. So we are taking uh, a comprehensive approach and going after the problems where we see them. Uh, Madam Secretary, Western pressure on Iran, especially uh, after the uh, alleged assassination uh, uh, against the Saudi ambassador in, in Washington. Uh, people think that, that Iran might be retaliated or, or, or somehow fight back. Did you think Iran will choose Afghanistan to fight back against the U.S.? Well, I think Iran uh, is trying to cause trouble everywhere. I don't think that Afghanistan is immune. I don't think any place in the region is immune. And uh, they tried to bring uh, that uh, state-sponsored terrorism to our shores with their planned attack on the Saudi ambassador. Uh, Iran is just in a troublemaking mood. I think that's fair to say. So we all have to be uh, on uh, alert to make sure that uh, they're not causing trouble here or elsewhere in the world. Yeah. Madam, about the uh, uh, strategic partnership between Afghanistan and the United States, uh, there were some differences, especially Afghan government had some uh, issues over the uh, president or also uh, in the uh, night raids. So do you think there is any progress on these issues? Oh, I think we are making progress because uh, the strategic uh, partnership document covers a, a wide range of issues that are important to the enduring uh, partnership between the United States and Afghanistan. Uh, there are some issues that are more challenging than others, and we are addressing them in a very uh, thorough way. Uh, our ambassador and uh, representatives of the Afghan government are working through all of those issues, but I'm uh, quite confident we're going to reach uh, a resolution because we want to demonstrate 
clearly to the people of Afghanistan, to the wider region and the world, that the United States will not abandon Afghanistan. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good Thank to you. talk to you.